So for this part, uh, it's basically what we learned back in the unit circle. You know, uh, when we have unit circle, we say we have X and Y, right? So what we're gonna label here is that this is your Y, this is your X, and this is your R. And since last semester, we learned about cosine theta is X over R. So X is equal to R cosine theta. And let's go ahead, give it a little special emphasis. Okay. And you become very sensitive to either X or R cosine theta. And then sine theta is equal to y over r. So y is equal to r sine theta. So, so the relationship on this with the unit circle is that back in unit circle, what's the r? It's just one. So you didn't quite see the r coming back in the days because it's just one. So you didn't see the r explicitly, but it's there. It's just one. What's tangent theta? X over Y. Okay. Can uh, give it a little special attention here as well. Okay. And what's R squared? Well, Pythagorean theorem, right? X squared plus Y squared. It's equal to R squared. And, 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 and. Did you recognize what this is? What it looks like? What does it look like? X squared plus Y squared equals to R squared, that is say. It's Pythagorean theorem, and also it is a the circle. Remember the circle equation? All right? That means it's a circle centered at zero, zero. Now, of course, we can uh, say what R is. R is going to be a square root of X squared plus Y squared, of course. Of course. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry, my bad. I was, it is y over x, sorry, my bad. Tangent theta is y over x. Tangent theta is y over x. Make sure you correct it. Good catch. All right, now, the reason I ask you to like box them up, be very sensitive to these. Be very sensitive to these. And I will show you where, like on the back page, there's a part where you have to be very, very sensitive. 